everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video we are going to be doing a spirit bug session in my house. Now I'm going to start off with the Necrophonic app since a lot of people seem to like that. I also like the app obviously, that's why I continue to make videos with it. And then I may or may not, I haven't decided yet, use my PSB 11 spirit box just to see what we get with that. Sorry there was no video last week. I didn't really feel like it was appropriate to make and upload a video given the situation that's going on in our country right now. Um, if you're in the United States, obviously there's a lot of unrest. I was on the fence about doing one this week, but I really wanted to upload something to my channel, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Now, if you don't know what the Necrophonic app is, it is a app, um, this is what the screen looks like for it, that was actually created by, I want to say, Chill Seekers, which is actually a paranormal investigator or paranormal group, I think. I honestly haven't looked too far into it. Um, I do know that the app is legit, though. For me, it's worked. I've seen countless other videos where it's also worked. So I'm pretty on board with saying that this is a legit app. It is a phonics bank, which means the spirit is supposed to be able to go in and use the phonics bank to make words and be able to speak through it. A little bit different than the spirit box. Spirit box uses white noise. That's what the spirits speak through. So this sweeps through AM or FM stations, depending on what you want to have it on. And the spirits are supposed to be able to manipulate the white noise and speak through that two different things, same results pretty much. I don't really favor one over the other. Sometimes this works better, sometimes Necrophonic works better. We'll see what happens tonight. I know people get upset when I get a little lengthy with my intro, so we'll just jump right into it. See what we can come up with. Just real quick before I start, I will say that activity in my house has been a little bit higher. I don't know if it's my haunted doll, somebody just passing through, whatever. I kind of think it's my haunted doll Violet. There's been a lot of noises around the house. I heard somebody speaking in the living room while I was working back in my office. Um, middle of the night, the other night, there was a loud crash. I thought it was a baby gate that we baby gate off our laundry room so the dogs can't get in there. I came out, baby gate was up, so I don't know what the loud crash was, but there was a loud crash. So just stuff like that. It had ramped it down for a little bit. But I will say in the last couple weeks it's been a little bit more active in our house. So we'll see if anybody wants to talk. Is there anybody who wishes to speak? I thought I heard somebody say me. Who is me? I heard me again. Who oh. is me? What's your name? That was weird. Do I know who you are? Did you just say help me? What do you need help with? Are you the one I heard speaking in the living room? Did you say odd or God? I'm not gonna lie, the whispering voice is creeping me out a little bit. I can't catch what it's saying, but I feel like it's it's saying some stuff. A lot of times I'll have to go back and when I edit is when I can hear. Do you stay in the house or are you just passing through? It's being kind of quiet tonight, which is a little weird.
Are, is there more than one spirit here? Every time I say that, I keep hearing me. If you're the one who's saying me, I need to know what your name is. Spirit? I know you're a spirit, but who are you? I am listening, but I'm not understanding a lot of what's coming through. It's kind of garbled. So if there's more than one spirit here, you gotta talk one at a time. Are you the reason why there's been more activity in the house? Mm, take that silence as a no. How many spirits are here? Did you just say thunder? It did thunder earlier, you're right. Are you telling me I should wait until there's a storm to do this? Violet, are you around? It almost like it sounded like it said Aaron is. I hear my name a lot on this app though, so that's not really a surprise. What about the light? With me? The light is with me? Sounded like it said PJ, which is my boyfriend's name. What are you trying to say about PJ? I don't know, you, you're the one who said PJ, don't ask me what, I'm asking you what. <laughs> Sounded like it said girl. Yeah, I know, I had a bit of an attitude, sorry about that. Should we try the SB11 spirit box? Do you think it might be easier to speak through that? That's weird. This is kind of like something for you. Spirit something. Alright, I'm gonna shut off this app and we're gonna try the spirit box. Bye for now. So it sounded like we got some stuff through the Necrophonic app. I'm going to have to go back and listen to it. I feel like there was a lot of strings of actual coherent stuff there. I just didn't catch it on my first listen through. Probably catch it when I go back through. But let's go ahead and try the SB11 spirit box for a few minutes and then we'll wrap up this video. Are there any spirits that wish to talk through my SB11 spirit box? That's a little scary. You have to remember that this is sweeping through stations fairly quickly, so a noise like that coming over that many sweeps is a little strange. Sounded like a ghostly moan. Who are you? Use the noise and you can speak through it. Is this Violet? Are you 
playing music through there? Yeah. yeah. Do you like music? Did you like the music I was playing last night? Is there only one spirit here right now? Did you say go back? Go back to what? I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you said to go back to. Can you say it again? There's definitely some stuff coming through on this. And it seems to kind of be in response. Can you tell me what your name is? Is it Violet? Sounded like it said my name. My name is Erin. You know my name. Do I know who you are? No? Can you tell me who you are? Was that you that just made the lights flicker? Is that you that's making the dining room lights flicker? Can you do it again? Thank you. I don't... I obviously don't have my camera on the lights and I don't think you can see in the reflection. But they're kind of dimming and coming back on. So I tried to see if I could get it to dim the lights on the camera and it clearly doesn't want to. So it's not going to make it. Which is funny because when I was adjusting my camera to be back on me, comes over the spirit box and says, what are you doing? Unfortunately, obviously, I wasn't recording. Thank you before for uh, dimming the lights for me when I asked, even though you didn't want to do it on camera. Um, is there anything else you want to say before I go? I'm going to take that as a no. All right, goodbye. So that's it for my spirit box session. Like I always say in all my videos, let me know if you guys heard something I didn't and make sure you put it in the comments down below. I always like to go through and read and see what other people may or may not have heard. I do try my best to respond to y'all, but YouTube is very bad, for me anyway, letting me know that somebody has commented on my videos. So sometimes it takes me a little bit to get back to you. For the most part, I do try to go back and at least respond, give you a thumbs up, whatever. But yeah, that is it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!